Hey folks, in this video I'm going to try to demonstrate how to forge an integral chef knife. I started out with six and a half inch, uh, one inch round bar of 1085 Hitachi steel uh, and forged it out to this. This is about a 10 inch blade by two and a quarter inches wide. You can't really see, but you get the point. So, uh, just a quick cap of what I did. First thing I did was isolate the tang material so that I had enough material for the tang. The blade doesn't matter as much because you're going to be able to get the material out. And as you can see, I have extra bolster material here that I can remove. But if you isolate the tang first, it's not, you don't have to worry about not having enough material at the bolster area to get your tang once everything has been forged out already. It makes it really difficult and sloppy. So uh, check out the video. I'm going to try to be as descriptive as possible without talking too much like I'm doing right now. Thank you. six and a half inches this is 1085 and then I rounded all the hard edges on the belt grinder so what I'm doing right here is just adding more mass to the bar and widening it up so that way when I'm working on the bolster area and working on drawing out the heel of the knife, I have more mass to work with. able to set the bar down a full inch and a half down to five inches from six and a half inches and get about a quarter extra uh, diameter out of the bar. The thing I'm doing on the power hammer is cleaning everything up, establishing two flats so I can keep orientation and then I can also get uh, more width out of the material. And then I go to establishing my hidden tang. I do the tang first so that way I know I have enough mass for the tang instead of forging the blade and then going back and not having enough mass for the tang. draw the flats out a little bit more and then I start working on the tip. You'll notice that I start getting a fish lip happening at the very tip and this happens. I'm working with a power hammer. All I do is go to the grinder and grind that out so that way I don't end up with an inclusion or anything like that at the tip. Once I'm done at the grinder, I'm going to start working on drawing the width out of the material. So I start by establishing my bolster area and then moving the material and drawing the flats. Right here I'm using two pairs of tongs to really give myself a lot of control when trying to draw that material out towards the edge. Uh, you can see it's starting to pull the material towards the anvil uh, and I'm just working it at that very edge to pull that material out as wide as possible.
blacksmith's advice, I like to clamp it in there and then use the tongs to pry my edge over. So when I start forging it out, it, it forges out to the shape of a blade. And then that also allows me to hammer on the backside to remove that mass that is being drawn out when you hammer on it. After I cleaned up the material on the power hammer, I took it to the anvil and hit it with a straight peen right on the bolster so that way the spine flattens with the bolster and it becomes one solid line. You're going to get the length, the dies are automatically going to draw the length out, but the, the width that isn't always something that's going to happen. So you really have to focus on pulling it, and then, then I'm just cleaning it up, and then I go to the anvil to clean up all the um, high points and really turn those lines into single lines instead of ridges and peaks. that I have the general shape and now I'm just trying to clean everything up so I don't have a bunch of uh, deep forge marks when I go to finish this knife. You can see I'm just barely tapping, not really moving a lot of material, just kind of trying to clean everything up at this point. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, turn on that notification bell. You know the deal. I'm new to YouTube. Uh, I've tried it in the past. I'm gonna really try to make a concerted effort to put out high quality uh, educational content as well as just entertainment. Uh, if this goes well, I will continue and maybe even do a Patreon where I have more in-depth content for you guys. Thank you all.